y'all this is Cole with Hegel Lawn Care located here in Starkville Mississippi back with another video today on the bad side of the business all the all the shit you got to deal with all the time you know the customers complaints I mean just breaking stuff everything that goes wrong in a business I'm gonna talk about it today nobody really talks about this subject because you know it's not really entertaining and I can understand but it needs to be said if you want to get into lawn care you need to know this you know going into it it's not just sunshine all the time you know it gets bad at times you know you get really stressed but uh we're gonna jump in that right now I'm gonna be on a mower talking and I'm just gonna do a voiceover for y'all and we'll go from there man so enjoy the video thank you all right y'all this is a centipede lawn i keep around three inches in height and i cut it on a weekly basis we've been getting so much rain i've been having to double cut just about everything i have this summer has been this grass been growing like crazy man anyway we're going to get in today about all the things that can go wrong in your business you know the bad stuff the stuff you don't want to deal with and the stuff you definitely don't want to listen to but if you want to run a lawn care business in the future, you're going to come across these sometime, okay? Number one, it'll be, I have four of them. Number one, it'll be the clients. The clients, you know, you have all different types. The main problem they have is, you know, they're people. So people move, people die. People get rid of you to go with somebody else because they're cheaper. It's just some people don't have money, some people do. It's all different types of things that can go with clients. And once you do them for a while, and then I have a story I want to tell. Um, back then, I had one guy, I was cutting his yard bi-weekly every 14 days. And he was like, he called me up wanting a landscaping quote. And I said, okay. I'll come give you a landscaping quote. So a few days later, I was able to come out to the property and give him a quote. I showed up, and little did I know, he was actually, he called me to complain about, he said he that we didn't even weed eat, man. I just, you know, stuff like that. He called me literally 10 days after I mowed that property. And most of it was Dallas grass and crabgrass, so... Dallas grass, if you don't know it, it, especially down here in the south, it grows like a foot a week, okay? So in 10 days, he calls me and say I didn't eat even weed eat or anything. And then, you know, I also have problems with, you know, people, they just, I don't know. You know, everybody just has different ways of doing it. You know, there's different people in this world. But anyway, you're going to have them problems with different clients. I mean, I've even... You know, I show up and I give a price just to mow, edge, weed eat, and blow off all the concrete. And then, you know, anything with landscaping or tree trimming or hedge trimming or planting flowers, all that stuff is extra, you know, that's extra charge. Well, I've had, you know, a few that call and say they had weeds in their flower bed and they thought I was going to take care of it. But I told them up front, you know, with the word of mouth when I first got them that... It, it would just anyway I lost my train of thought but you know that, that's part of it um <laughs> but uh number two will be objects in a yard man and what I mean by that is dog shit garden hoses toys kids toys dog toys whatever there's always stuff in the yard so you show up to this yard to cut it and next thing you know a yard that'll take you 30 minutes to mow it you show up and you got a hundred foot garden hose to pick up and then you walk to the backyard and you got toys all over the place and that's just you know that's a no-go for me i usually just skip them kind of yards they um yeah I, I mean i talk to them you know up front about all that most of them are really good with it you know people forget but that's just part of it number three would be equipment breakdowns man you're going to have equipment breakdowns you're you're driving this equipment you know 
every day and you know you're going to be replacing belts pulleys whatever luckily you don't have to place that too much but you know just keep the maintenance up on the mowers and you won't and the weed eaters and the blowers keep them all maintenance now and you know if you take care of them they'll take care of you anyway number four will have to be weather okay i've been hearing all these guys that you know cut 10 to 20 lawns a day and they do that every day of the week i don't see how because sometimes especially here in the south we get one to two to maybe three days of rain in one week so if you got 10 yards lined up for every day of the week i have no idea how you're getting all them done because say if you get three days three days of rain and then you got 60 yards to cut well you're supposed to cut 10 yards a day you know monday through saturday and then now you have to do that you know now you have pretty much 20 a day to do and there's no way to do that i mean you're gonna have stress in them them areas too but anyway y'all like this video leave a comment subscribe man i'm uh I'm trying to reach a thousand i'm almost there anyway i'll uh catch y'all on the next one man y'all take care